Hi, good day. This is Michael with Iconasys. Today we'll be doing a 360 product photography demo of shooting a bracelet in 360. Um, I've connected my compatible camera via USB. I'm also working with our medium USB turntable, 360 acrylic, acrylic riser, as well as our LumiPad 360 lighting setup. Um, I've been able to live view on my camera. So what I'm able to, what my camera is seeing, I'm going to see in real time on my monitor screen inside of the Shutterstream 360 application. First thing that you're going to notice is it looks quite overexposed. Um, so what we can actually do is start to change our aperture, shutter speed, white balance, sensitization to optimize our camera settings for our lighting environment. So, and as we make changes to these, we can actually see the results um, in real time, um, which is called exposure simulation when working with a Canon DSLR camera. So that exposure looks pretty good. We're going to want to shoot this at maximum color accuracy. Um, and again, with this lighting setup, you're going to be able to see that we shoot instantly onto pure white backgrounds. Um, again, also with the 360 acrylic riser kit. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust my focal point manually. So inside of the software, we do a full control over our, um, our camera's focal adjustment. And I can start to make some changes here. And as I can see, we've just brought that back into focus. It looks quite good, probably about right there. So we're going to use that as our focal point. Now Now that we've set our camera settings and our, our focal adjustment, uh, those are going to be retained from shot to shot when we enter into the 360 shooting mode. Uh, next step will be to pre-rotate our turntable. I'm going to hit the play button here, and that's going to start auto rotation of our turntable. We're going to do two things in this step. Uh, first, we're going to visually ensure that we position our object in the center of the turntable. And second, what we want to do is this little rectangle that I just defined, that is actually our pre-crop marker, meaning that when we start and enter into the 360 shooting mode, um, it's only going to take a picture of what's inside this area that we define. So visually it looks like we have positioned our object quite well on axis in the center of the turntable, and it looks like as our object turns 360, nothing is falling outside the crop area. So I'm going to stop my turntable at my first shooting position. Select the number of frames. Users do a full control to shoot from 8 up to 72 images per 360. Then I hit my start button. And now that is going to completely automate my imaging process. Um, in a turn, stop, snap workflow. And uh, the nice thing about this too is images are captured. They're being uploaded into the application for instant review. Okay, so we're near completion of our 360 image capture process. Uh, the entire process took about two minutes, again, to shoot 24 frames, and it was completely automated. Um, our next step here will be to batch select our images. Again, it's going to select all 24, and we're going to enter into the included editing suite inside of Shutterstream. Let's first inspect this um, image. We have an eyedropper tool inside of here, and what we can actually do, if you look just to the right of the eyedropper tool, you're going to see an RGB color value. We can inspect this and see that it is 255, 255, 255, meaning we instantly shot onto pure white. Um, what else we can actually do inside of the software is we do have some color adjustments, some uh, levels, curves, tools, just a lot of cool features inside of here that, uh, that uh, you know, should be more than sufficient for getting your images ready for your required usage. Um, after we make our changes uh, based on our requirements, we're simply going to hit apply to all. And what that's going to do in a batch process is run through the entire set of images and batch edit them. It is a fairly quick process as well. Again, we just edited 24 images in about 8 seconds. And then our last step here will be to go ahead and output these. I'll choose my file output location, rename my file, I'll just call it bracelet, dash, it's going to uh, rename them sequentially, 0, 1 through 24. I can also choose to resize all my images. Maybe I want all these in my 360 be at a thousand pixels wide. Um, for simply from here I'm going to hit OK and that is going to save to our specified folder uh, which I have open here and you can see it's outputting the entire set of images at a thousand pixels wide while also renaming. And then our last step after we have our 24 individual frames will be to open up our 360 view creator application which is included with the Shutterstream 360 package. Select all our images and simply drag and drop them. Now what this is going to do is take those individual frames and put them into an interactive 360 product view in HTML5 format. So we can see the preview right here. Uh, these are fully customizable as far as spin direction, spin speed, if you want to use your own buttons or we do have a long list of different button types as well that you can uh, choose from. Um, so very customizable for your unique requirements. 
Uh, and then our last step will just be to output. Uh, I've specified uh, saving to the bracelet folder as well as output name bracelet. We'll just hit save. And you can see fairly quickly it's going to create that for us. Now we have an interactive 360 product view and we're going to open this just in a, uh, let's open this in a uh, web browser. And we can see what we just created here very fast, very efficiently, completely user interactive 360 product view on pure white. Uh, let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.